If they're the ones that got dumped, they're the ones in, and they're still in their feelings. I wouldn't date their ex. If you dumped the person, you discarded the person, that's fair game. It means you didn't want it, you don't need it, and now it's fair game. Be definitely concerned with, you know, said friend's right. feelings on this on the situation. The human race is divided in two distinct sexes, male and female. While the typical man is a simple creature, there exists a subgroup, the nice guy, a dying breed of chivalrous, romantic, domesticated gentlemen whose qualities are desired by the opposite sex, allegedly. However, they are dismissed and confined in such concepts as the bestie, work husband, and the dreaded friend zone. Joe, Jason, and Manny are the last of the nice guys. So glad he's not here right now. Oh, God, man. That dude is is the worst. Oh, my God. We're recording. Hey, 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 thanks for tuning in to Last of the Nice Guys. I'm Jason. And I'm Manny. And it's another Joe List episode. And Joe List sounds like Joy List, but that's not true. Uh, (laughs) We're having a blast. We love the fact that he's not here because we get to actually have a real episode and speak our minds without a talking coloring book. So, uh, Manny, before we get to today's topic, which is your topic because you are a fantastic person, allegedly, allegedly. we have two comments that I want to read. And we will get through it because I did promise you guys that I'd read more of your comments because you guys have comments. I love you. All right. Sorry. I thought I brought them up, but I didn't bring them up. I brought them up now. All right. So for episode 51, when is the right time for a guy to whip it out? Uh, Adrian says, Manny needs an FX board. <laughs> but Grace sweats. But Grace sweats, she whip it out. So I guess we're in Grace sweats. You, you whip it out when you do it. So thanks a lot, Adrian. Uh, he goes, LOL, and he got the little uh, devil horse. I actually did write in a comment, you need to get on, on this, Adrian. You need to, now, Adrian is a, is a friend of mine um, from, like, high school. Good friend. Uh, we were chatting, like, forever. And Joe knows him, too, because we, because he met, we, Adrian and I met Joe at the same place at that Silver Gold. So I said, you know, I did put out a, a written, now this will be a verbal, okay, verbal invitation. Adrian, get on here, okay, nigga. That's what we used to do all the time, but get on here and let's, let's, let's bring a topic, you know, just one time, you know, don't be shy. You're, you're a good one man. You're, okay. But one anyway, time. so moving on, this is a joke though. Of course, this is also an episode 51. It's from Julia page. <laughs> it says date me HTTP semicolon two backslashes. Okay. Dot M backslash E H O J. And I'm at, uh, oh, hyphen P, hyphen O, hyphen R, hyphen N, hyphen, hyphen S, which spells <laughs> porns. <laughs> it says, choose your, your dream girl and a whole bunch of Chinese or Asian letters. Now, of course, I got this snapshot off of our YouTube channel before YouTube deleted it. So there you go. I always like like doing the the, the, the spam. They're, they're hilarious. The so that's about it, bots. I think. <laughs> if, if you responded to episode 51, and I didn't see it or didn't get it, by all means, call me out on it, email me or send a message somewhere and I'll, I think, I'll do it. But I, think I think there's a, there's a couple more on there. On 51? Yeah. Okay, well, it's too late now. I'll check them later. It's too late now. So no, uh, I, can re- I can read it right here. Watch. Read it right now. Read it right now then. All right, I'm going to do that. Right. On YouTube? The YouTube channel, I assume. Yeah, on YouTube. It's my sister again. Don't say it like that. We, we need her. <laughs> She's a forever fan. She's not going anywhere. So, blog e mommy. That's right. I said it right. Because you said it right. Yes, blog e mommy. First, uh, first comment was uh, Manny hears many voices in his head, and honestly, I can't with you guys. L M A O. 
P.S. Don't try any of this. It's likely to land you in a sexual misconduct charge and probably I an infection with you. I did see that. I did mm-hmm. see that. And I responded with, these are our hypotheticals that the last of the nice guys do not condone whipping it out randomly with, <laughs> without being prompted or given permission. So yeah, And I, I responded, that. are they hypothetical? Because Joe is very sketchy. That is true. That is very true. <laughs> uh, yes. What was the other one? It was another one? I did see uh, did it pop up. Just... Before? Yeah, just just that uh, we were pronouncing her name wrong and you were actually doing it right the whole time. I was absolutely doing it right. Thank you very much. All right, appreciate you guys again. Please comment us, email us, get up on here. Because we need all the interaction we can get. Now, Manny, your topic. Sock it to us. What are we what are we doing? What are you talking about? Come on. Okay. Um, would you date a friend's ex? It depends. Like the 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 adult diaper depends. It depends. Or... Well, no, yeah, the adult diaper. No, well, well, we already know that that I'm all about uh, um, uh, Joe's and Manny's leftovers. Joking or not, I'm all about it. We've been very clear. Now, when I say depends, it depends on if this friend was a dumper or the dumpy. Hear me out. If they're the ones that got dumped, they're the ones in, and they're still in their feelings. I wouldn't date their ex because the other ones got dumped. If you dumped the person, you discarded the person, that's fair game. It means you didn't want it, you don't need it, and now it's fair game. One man's trash, another man's treasure. It's kind of like how technically if you put garbage on the side of the road, it becomes public property, people could just take it. That's the truth. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's where I am, is that with the exception of, of, of Joe's ex, well, I don't give a damn whether he dumped or got dumped or wanted her or not, that's all mine. Anyway, but <laughs> no, it, it, in my opinion, it does. It, it that's that's the major major criteria. Was my friend the dumper or the dumpy? And that then dictates my answer to that question. What about you? Um, I can't say I've I've ever done it before, but I think I would I would um, align myself with uh, what you said. Um, I would definitely be definitely concerned with, you know, said friends right. feelings on this on the situation. Yeah, you know, I, I wouldn't want to be like, oh hey, uh, I know you and uh Sarah are still like uh you know commingling, uh, but uh she hit me up the other night and I feel like uh yeah. we need to start talking and see that's how it. that's going. All that stuff that you told me, I want to put it to work now. <laughs> 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 but yeah, definitely uh I, I would have to, you know, see if my friend was dumped. Um, I actually have two stories that kind of co- coexist with this where right. um, I think the the first one was more or less like we just didn't kind of were we, we just didn't go anywhere. Um, it was like it's like an equal understanding kind of situation. And a friend of mine was like, hey, uh, we've been going out. You know, do you mind if, you know, her and I started like dating, whatever, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, you know, whatever. I respect the fact that you brought it to my attention and you right. said something about it. You know, hey, go ahead. All means I'm, I'm, her and I are done. So we don't really have a future or anything going on. Right. So whatever. And they ended up getting married and having oh, two shit. children. And 15 years later, they're still together, you know, all that nonsense. Wow. Yeah. So I made it work. Uh, the second time, it was more like a, where I was hanging out with a woman and, we just didn't go anywhere. Nothing happened whatsoever. Right. And my homeboy, another homeboy comes up to me. And he's like, hey, um, I'm really feeling this girl. And I know you guys used to hang out. Um, my my deal breaker is sex. Did you guys have sex? And I'm like, no, we did not. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm sure. He's like, because I'm not trying to. <laughs> that's his deal breaker. I'm everybody, not trying to, you know. <laughs> everybody is somebody's leftovers. Everybody is some some guy's wiener cousin. So what? Why do you? What's the difference between you knowing the wiener cousin and not knowing the wiener cousin? You're still a wiener cousin with somebody. It's a minor right. matter kind of thing. But uh, I guess that was just his deal breaker. I would absolutely I be your wiener cousin, Manny. Absolutely. I mean, we keep in touch all the time. It's okay. That is true. That is true. But that's not wiener cousin. That's more like <laughs> we need wiener siblings. We're Anyhow. we're going in further. <laughs> that's true. That is true. I have two stories, you know, but again, it's never happened to me. Well, it has happened to me. Um, I had a friend, a uh, very close friend, and it's funny because they both revolve around him. When I was hanging out with his crew in my in my early 20s, my, to my mid mid to late 20s, he always said this, you know, you may walk in with a girl, but, but may the best man win. So if you walk in with a girl, right, but your homie gets her attention and, and he leaves with her, you can't get mad. May the best man win. That was his phrase forever. And I never agree with it, but I went along with it. 
kind of kind of thing. So like when a chick that was my ex, I brought her to a party and I just left to go meet to, to go talk to some other people that I, that I knew came back and one of my boys is smoozing with her, really smoozing and they end up getting hooking up and hooking up several times throughout the years. And I'm just like, you know, so whenever he would tell me, hey, you know, they're hooking up again. I said, I don't give a shit. He's like, well, you mad, bro. You mad, bro. You know, me the best man win. I said, hold on now. I'm not, they can do whatever they want to do. I don't need to hear about it. But I was annoyed because I was like, I, you know, I brought her. You know, I was trying to rekindle stuff. All I did was went over yonder. Five, 10 minutes. What's up? What's going on? It's good to see you. Maybe, is it my fault that I left her by herself? Or maybe, but I mean, come on. It was like 10 fucking minutes. But anyway, so yeah, that happened. But the same guy, I mean, it's a little different. He had a living, um, uh, a living girlfriend. I mean, I think he thought she was the one. Same guy. Same guy who was like made the best man win, and they weren't working out. Unfortunately, they weren't working out, and somehow I became caught in the middle of it by, by, like they talked to me and I talked to the other person. They're, they're cohabitating, but I was like, I was the counselor, so she would tell me stuff. So I would tell him what she said. He would tell me something. I would tell her what she's. And I said, you guys, look, honestly, you need to communicate. The relationship just doesn't work. It falls apart. And he, you know, basically is like, okay, well, we're, me and her are done. All my friends have to speak, have to stop speaking with her. And I was like, yeah, she still wants to be my friend. And I kind of want to still be her friend. And we spoke about this months ago that if you guys fell apart, my friendship with you is now independent from my friendship with her. And I'm not in high school or elementary school. So but that's how it went down. I told him, I said, listen, how do you feel? She still wants to be friends. How do you feel? Do what, you, do, do what you want. I said, okay, well, she wants to, she can get me a job in, 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 in her area. How would you feel about me working with her? Do what you want. That's what he said. I said, all right, I brought it to your attention. Cool. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sure if I went, back, went up to him and said, hey, I wanted to date her, do what you want. But weeks later, you know, we're talking and, and, and some joke about loyalty came up and it was thrown in my face. You want to talk about loyalty? You're telling, you're telling your, your, his, um, wow. his you, you, you're telling my ex happy birthday on Facebook. Dude, you're not even on Facebook. How do you know this? Oh, you have your little friends watching my interaction with her. Oh, mind wow. you, not dating, just remaining friends. And that ruined an eight-year friendship because I refused to drop her like a bad habit. Uh, so it, it's not the same thing as dating your friend's ex, but it's remaining friends with your friend's ex in a way and them not being able to handle it for whatever particular reason. The only other horrible. incident that I think I can think of that works that works with this, uh, dating your friend's ex. They I just thought of another one. Oh, go for it. What I'm thinking of, go for it. My brother actually um, dated one of my ex-girlfriends and got it got engaged to her, which was very strange. They hid that for quite some time because I didn't care. When you have, like and I'll probably right there. When you <laughs> have to hide behavior, right you know it's wrong you know you're doing it wrong that's and, it and that you know was the funny thing because it, it was actually my father who brought it up to my attention oh that, and, that guy yeah that that you know that sperm donor that um, guy. and you know, it was funny because when i when i approached my brother about it, i was like i don't care why would you hide it yep you know and and he's like well you know i didn't know how you would feel again i'm if he cared I'm, if he cared I've about your feelings on. <laughs> If he cared about your feelings, he would have told. He would have when you started talking. He'd right. be like, "Hey, this is what's going down." He doesn't give a shit about your feelings. I mean, I don't. Yeah. I don't know him, and I'm not gonna like. I'm not, I'm not condoning uh, condemning him. But what I am saying though is, here's a great example, just like this. So it's it's high school, and I just broke up with with my with a high school girlfriend. This, this chick was just like, she wasn't hood, but I definitely was too soft for her back then. You know what I'm saying? Like her people were just kind of like. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm just like, good afternoon, guys. <laughs> so it wasn't working out. It wasn't going to work. So we ended it. And I was telling my friend on the bus about this. So my 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 um my good good friend, even a best friend, you could say, his name is Kurt, right? Comes on the bus with this, you know, she was pretty, pretty, pretty. I don't know, Spanish chick. She sits in front of me in the B44, B44, y'all. Y'all know what that is, Brooklyn, New York stand up. Um, <laughs> we're on the B44, and I start talking about how 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 things ended and she keeps turning around and like laughing with me and i'm like all right cool i look at kurt like 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 that's you mm. you know so long story short me and her get closer as 
friends and she, with benefits we begin to start feeling each other right she mm -hmm. tells me first mm -hmm. and i'm and i'm denying it right i'm just like no you're you're my you're my boy's like crush or whatever you guys you don't like him like that ah shit um she's like i know you like me and i'm like um please hold i put her on hold i and i, I three-way call this is what three three was was like the hottest shit the shit back in the day three-way yeah. call i three-way call <laughs> kurt i said my man listen i said look uh me and anna uh have been getting to know each other i, I kind of like her and i think she likes me too do you mind if i take her out on a date Mind you, I'm putting my friendship on the line here because I know how much he likes this chick, you know, but he wasn't, but he's apparently just stopped hanging out with her. What I didn't know is he moved on to another chick named Asha and I didn't know that. So, but it doesn't matter. I didn't know. I asked him, you know what he said to me? Manny, do you know what he said to me on the phone? Manny, do you know nah, what bitch. this dude said to me on the phone? Nah, bitch. It's about time. Wow. He said, it's about time. I knew it. I saw it. And I was, I, it's, it's about time. Yes, go ahead. And I, I said, hold, pause that. Pause. Look to Anna. He said, it's great. We're going to go out Saturday. Okay. <laughs> Saturday. I got to go talk to him now. Bye. Okay. <laughs> that chick became my high school sweetheart. Okay. And to this day, I regret not marrying her. But it's neither here nor there. Okay. So that's what I'm saying is that I, this is my, this is my best friend. Okay. Not even a brother, my best friend. I had enough respect and, and, and mind to, to contact yeah. him. And, 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 and let me just right now, I was stuttering. I was sweating. I was, I was nervous to say, listen. Yeah, it makes an awkward conversation. Exactly. <clears throat> I like her. I know you, I met her through you. I know you liked her. You know, I don't know anything about you moving on. Maybe, maybe if I knew she, he had moved on to somebody else, I would have known. I would have felt better. But for all I know, he was still pining after this chick. And I'm just literally telling him, she likes me. And I like she her. She doesn't so, like you anymore, bro. So, you know, so what I was, so when I said that, that your bro kind of went about it the wrong way, he um went about it the wrong way. I don't know, he did. Because of in the course. end, in the end, you'd hope that you being Manny uh, would be mature enough to, to be okay with it. Or if, even if you're not okay with it, still be mature enough in general. Because in the end, it's clear in the end, no matter, whether, no matter you were okay with it or not, he was still going to go forward with it. Right. Because in and, his opinion, and, you weren't going to be okay with it. So he hit it. Right. And he, and, he made it as far as it being engaged. Yeah. So so, and, so did you ask him what, what was his game plan when it was when it was wedding day? Was he gonna hide that too? What was listen, his game? like I, I didn't even I didn't even think about it that far because my my thing is like so my brother and I went to high school for like maybe half his high school years, yeah, two two years or whatever. And um Everybody was always asking me, like, oh, you know, how's your brother? What's your brother? And then, like, he started breaking hearts because that's the kind of person that he was at the time. Right. And, you know, I would tell, you know, my ex because, or my ex at the time, <clears throat> because, I, again, I had already moved on and I had a child. So I was already, like, way past that. Oh, oh you. So you were, so, okay, so unlike me, I, for all I know, he still wanted his chick. He, you already had done moved on. Right. And had, had procreated. Yo, that's. I don't want to right. say cowardly, but cowardly. <laughs> right. He doesn't listen to this. My bad, dog. But I mean, that was, that was kind of fucked up. Carry on. Carry uh, on. It is. I don't care if you listen to it or not. I don't care. I oh, talk cool. about him to his face. Oh, that's um, cool. Yeah, but I so, don't know. I come at my door, knock me the fuck out. No, nah, he 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 have to come find you. Which is oh, okay, cool. I, I won't let that happen. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, man, it was like it was hilarious. Like I I thought about it and. And, and he's like, oh, you know, my father He's like, oh, you know, um, I don't want you to be upset. This, you know, just, you know, let the situation go. And I was like, I, I don't care. And he's like, no, no, no. Don't let your emotions run. I'm, I'm telling you, I don't care. Like, I, I'm um, not, nah, nah, dog. I'm, I'm good. That was like, it's like, already going on my life. Like, you know, to the point where like, <clears throat> like later on. Your dad likes to shit. stir up shit, doesn't he? He, he does. He does. Stir it all up. Okay. He does. He likes to stir that pot. And I'm just he like, wanted you to go to the, to the, he wanted you to go to engagement dinner and be like, listen here, motherfuckers. Okay. <laughs> I had that. I've, I had that come coming. in, come in, come, come in drunk at the dinner that I wasn't invited to. And be like, I know what's going on Can here. You imagine. <laughs> no, Manny. Honestly, you need to find out. I mean, I assume they never got married. No, they never did. I, I think enough times passed. You should ask him what was your end game if you made it to engagement in secret. Was well, I not going to be invited to the wedding? Like, how is this going to happen? Here's How did the you thing think that. 
uh-huh. that was also going around that time um before he was with her and like kind of kind of leveled that playing field with uh-huh. him so that that just eventually fell apart um he would go after my exes after i was done with them and they would all tell me about it and i'm just like what the fuck is wrong with this guy <laughs> maybe because maybe because they think that 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 you broke their hearts and, and to mess with it to, to to fuck with you they'd get with you with your brother and make the funny fun. the funny thing is i didn't break anybody's hearts you know oh. it just it was a uh, it just didn't work out we saw two different ways like just things happened and then we were just like yeah it's not working out you know, things like things that. a heartbreaker says to make himself feel better and sleep at night no, I'll tell you right now, it's never happened. Dude, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not judging you. I mean, I, I will I will call many right now on this podcast and be like, hey, you know, friends with issue. Anyways, um <laughs> <laughs> that's what you call that's what you call studio brand synergy. <laughs> Bam! Please, please watch the Friends with Issues podcast. Uh, four parts, uh, ten parts special, a friend with issues where I bring a new friend every week. Let me stop. Don't wait yeah. for mine. Mine's just horrible. Anyway, so yours um, is bad. Yours is coming up. Uh, I know. I can't wait. I think, but um, but yeah, like he he was he was known for that. So for me, it was like I don't really care what your end game was at this time because right. you know you were you were just a little bastard. You know whatever. So Shame when it didn't work, down. yeah. When it when it didn't work out, um, same girl approached me several times after that and was just like, hey, you know me and your brother and i'm like i don't care like you've been with my brother see he may not care but i do <laughs> so i've already been there it's already over they right. my brother so well, you, already, but you, like, you can sandwich it out you then your brother then you got a nice little 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 nah 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 your dick and that man's dick and uh, now it's like hmm who is better hmm. you see but you but it's like okay okay but what's the difference because she knows your dick and she knows the other past guys she's still going to compare the difference is you might know the person the she's comparing circle. you with you see what i'm saying like it's a mind over matter thing because because if you if i was to go like that route i would never date a girl who's had a dick before me because i don't know if it's as good as what you had in the past i don't know if you're comparing i don't know if you care you know, so here's a great. All example. I know, all I know is she she was coming back to me, so I know my hurricane move is strong. Oh, that's true. That is true. That's where I learned my hurricane move. <laughs> so anyway, um, so here's another example, but it's it's, it's me. So I I, I, met, I met this this girl through the same guy actually, the same guy who, who the, from the other two stories. He he used to talk about this girl all the time, right? And said, "You're gonna like her. You're gonna like her. You're gonna like her." And he would talk about her for like two three years. She re, she she all of a sudden reappears. And he's like, you know, Jay, she's back. She wants to hang out. I need you to come with me. I said, of all your friends, some who actually even know her, you're going to bring me? Like, why me? Jay, man, just come on. Just come with me. I said, all right. I went there, instantly clicked with this girl. I was like, yeah, I like her. Now, to this day, I don't know if I like her because I liked her. Or I liked her because I was bigged up to like her. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I, I wonder because there wasn't much that we were compatible about, but I did really like her, you know? So I take her on a few dates. May or may not take it on a cruise. Anyway, and it, it <laughs> out. she 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 went back to her ex, right? And that was the end of that. Uh, but when she tried to come back around to 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 holler at me, I met her friend. And me and her friend. Don't you hate when that happens? What? You meet <clears throat> you're involved with somebody else, and you find a a better looking friend. Not even just better looking, just 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 cool all the way around. We meet her yeah, connected just, instantly. Yeah, the, the the whether it be just for looks or just me- mental, like right. just, if there's a better connection. You're like, aw, right. Aww. But we're still into the first girl, so I took her. We we did the whole little limo thing. We went to dinner. We actually shared our first kiss in front of everybody there. What I didn't know is that her friend and I were gonna get re- much closer. And me and her, we're gonna. So, so as me and the first one kind of fizzled out because she clearly either wasn't interested all over again, or she likes it when I didn't care. When I did care, she didn't like. I don't know how to explain it. Ugh. So her friend become BFFs, and that BFF turns into romance, and that romance turns into into friends with benefits, and that friends with benefits turns into into dating dating on the low. That dating on the low eventually led to us outing ourselves. When she when she outed us to the group of friends, that same first girl, from what I heard, freaks out. She's like, I can't believe you're dating him. I can't believe you, you, you stepped through my open door. 
she 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 she, she, wow. she yeah she um she even went went to the chick's mother and said you knew about this and you and you hid it from me how could you you hide are it? you know and she was really upset and I know I, I I again I didn't see any of the messages this is what I was told from from people for second hand is hearsay but chick never hung out with us while we dated never she all of a sudden just did not hang out with us so I I can I can see some of it so in that case it was two and I think her dating me ruined their close friendship right hmm. for whatever reason because they were never I, I don't think they ever were the same again after me and her friend dated <sighs> and, which is fine it's not my fault I you know I you didn't like me clearly you know and I don't know what you were telling your your homegirl so I don't really know if this is one of those dating your friends not an ex but a guy that you were talking to or still kind of talking to or like hanging on to the side so when you were ready you could get with him that's mm-hmm. what it sounded like to me like I had him there I knew he wanted me and as soon as I was ready I was gonna get him now you took him and I'm just like you're getting all the benefits that I knew he would have given me because I got some of that. You know what I'm trying to say? It was weird yeah. shit. But, you know, that was a it's situation just... where I was in, 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 in a situation where, and it was what it was. You know, she capitalized on a good guy that she would eventually dump several months later um, <laughs> after maybe another cruise. And, um, <laughs> and bro, you, man. <laughs> Dude, where the hell was I? I would do it and be like, no, no. If don't you do were it. around, you would have said do it. Don't Dude, do it. God damn, Jay. What the fuck? Don't do it, Jay. Don't um, do it. But but yeah, so that was another example of, of, you know, maybe not dating your friend's ex, but dating your friend's interest, your friend's safety net. I don't know. But it's kind of similar. Another story? You got something else? Yeah. Um, I just remembered I was the ex of the best friend that was dated between two friends. <laughs> damn. Yeah. That was interesting. Um, but, you know. It, it was weird. Um, <clears throat> so first friend was in high school. Right. Okay. That lasted short term. High school relationships always last short. So yeah, I don't even, course. I don't, I don't pay attention to any of those with the exception of, you know, high school sweetheart because that exactly. Tends- no, yeah. High school friendships and, and early college relationships are very fickle. They, they yeah. really are. They're very fickle. There's only, there's only like one or two that matter, but other right. than that, um, you know, and then you flash forward several years later, several years later, okay. um, I meet the best friend of that ex, high school ex. Um, and not that I, I should say, I shouldn't say I met her. Um, we ran into each other at a party. She was drunk as hell. Um, we were talking a lot of crap to each other, exchanged <laughs> phone numbers, and the relationship kind of blossomed into something that lasted for a few years. Wow. Yeah. And then uh, during that periodic time, it was always uh, that side comment like, oh, you stole the love of my life. No, no. Because mind you, so high school. Uh huh. Right. And then you flash forward to was it before or after. I think it was. So yeah. Then said ex from high school got engaged to my brother. I run into the best friend. We start dating or whatever. So that already happened with my brother before I met this one. So she's running her mouth talking about how her does friends. She, does she understand how ridiculous she sounds? I've mentioned this. I was like, wait, wait, how are you going to go around telling people that your friend stole the love of your life when this was several years like of nothingness and you yourself engaged, got engaged to my brother? Like, did you leave that detail out? Like, because that's a pretty big detail. Clearly, because you, she, you, she lost the ability or the right to call you the love of her life the minute she got engaged to your brother. So that to me is like, that's the love of your life, possibly because correct I'm not. because <laughs> you never got that far. Clearly, no, no. and you didn't break it up because of you. So you know, like what? Yeah, it was it was it was a weird situation for a while and. It had its up and downs, and eventually that was obviously gotten over. But it was just, and in the beginning, it was like, "What? Oh, oh my God! How could you?" And I was like, "Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> just, just stop." Just on a lighter stop. note, on a lighter note, me and my brother ended up sleeping with the same chick, but like a couple of years apart. So I guess he he hooked up with her, and he told me about her, right? And told me her name, and. You know, okay, whatever. So I, and then I meet the same girl about a year later, my own way. And she tells me her name, and there's something about the name. You didn't connect like, the two until no, I did. I was just like, what? 
what is it? Why is this name so? Because it's it's not it's not like a it, it's it's a beautiful name. I don't know right. why it was it. Yeah, beautiful no, name. But, but, but I'm, I'm like, <laughs> huh? Your name? It was a it was a it was a pet name from her her real name. So it's not like it's something. Oh, you know, you know, everybody calls me Jay. So it's many people that call themselves Jay. No, it was it was a very semi specific name, pet name. And when she told me, I was just like, why does that sound so familiar? She put two and two together because when she finally realized what my last name was, she's like, oh, snap. I used to message your brother. I said, that's why. That makes sense. I didn't care. By that time, we had already hooked up a couple of times. I was just like, what are you going to do? You know, what are you going to do? But that was not, that was, that was totally unintentional, but it was really funny. And so I ended up telling him like immediately, I said, guess who I'm looking up with, girl? I said, look at her. He's like, what, really? I was like, Yeah. I didn't even know. You're He's dead like, to me. You know? No, he just didn't, he didn't care. That was, I mean, it wasn't, it was nothing ever said. It was nothing. She unfortunately wasn't one of those relationship girls. You don't bring her home to mama. You know what I'm saying? Not to yeah. say she's, she's a whore. It's not what I'm saying. <laughs> but what I am saying though is that she's not. She just likes to play at the time, around. At the time, she wasn't girlfriend material. She was fling material. She was getting to get it in material. She was. You know, you know, maybe get drunk and find an alley. Some, you know, that's that's she was a party girl. You know what I'm saying? She and looks so cute with garbage on her face. <laughs> exactly. So she was a party girl. So she wasn't one of those. Again, I didn't say whore. It's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying, she's a party girl. She just wasn't somebody that you could, you know, you could have fun with her every once in a while and and have a fling. But you weren't gonna, you weren't gonna date her. You definitely were gonna wipe up, wipe it up. Not then. I don't know. If she is now. I've been smoking her in over a decade. But at that time, we were younger too. It was like fresh out of high school. I had a yellow Dodge Neon, sun and fun package with a sunroof, chrome wheels. Ooh, I had a purple one once. Word? What yeah. purple? Uh, it's just the. the I had the last model. It. I had the 2004 or five model SXT. It's great before they discontinued it. Um, fantastic though. Uh, all right. Any other story? Um, I had one in my head and I forgot. That's what she um, said. So there's that one. There's that one. It's that one. <laughs> you should have so many stories, dog. You whore. I gotta write these down. Um, <laughs> I tend to forget things at my old age. Um, but yeah, man, like I, I can't. Damn, I can't remember. Okay, well, we like five minutes left. Let's wrap it up. Then, what advice would you give one of our listeners in this situation, potentially considering dating a friend's ex? Well. <clears throat> don't do it they all suck no um as 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 jason said in the beginning you know and and i full hard full hard full hard i know you i know you're full hard trust me <laughs> i can tell i know you, you there's a twinkle in your eye when you're full hard uh, yeah um just make sure that you know there's no feelings involved because the last thing you need is you know the 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 conversation of betrayal or um them hooking up while you guys are together you know because mm -hmm. that happens sometimes you know it's like oh i couldn't help yeah, it yeah, i saw yeah, her yeah, and i got yeah, in my feelings backsliding yeah. and then and then you find out you're hooking up that's that's a bad place you're right yeah the the, oh. the, the, the bad side of backsliding i remember the story now there's this a story is... tell the story all right so this story uh i will never put names out there and this will be the first time i admit to this in public so don't think of me differently Ooh, um i knew it <clears throat> So a crown royal is that crown royal? It is it is my crown, yes. Damn. Um I need a drink when I do this podcast. <laughs> I was having no, I was having some, some disadono on the rocks with my brother when he was doing my interview prep. So you know that was I always good. I always drink. My brother tells me to stop doing it. My other brother, sorry. Oh, the other my one, other not, the one yeah. not the one, not the not not the not the not the not the, not the coward, jackass. Not the coward. Yes. Okay. So God, I don't even know if I want to say this, but fuck it. Come on, come um, on, come on. So <laughs> I, I was dating. Come on. I was, I'm, I was, I'm ready there. <laughs> I know. What, I what, do, what, do you, what do you, what do you think this is? Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so there, there was uh, a short time um, in one of my jobs. I met a, an older woman and we started dating. We're hanging out, doing all sorts of things, you know, whatever. And um <clears throat> No, I'm, I'm sorry. I got that backwards. Shit. Okay. Uh, I, <laughs> right after high school, I met a girl and this is a short, 
blunt story of it. Met a girl, okay. hooked up a bunch of times, hung out, partied, you know, whatever. Didn't last. Nice to see you. You're a cool person. We're moving on. Okay, cool. Flash forward a few years later, I met an older woman. <clears throat> we started hooking up, you know, um, really weird and random because it was that's actually what piqued my interest in older women. Mm -hmm. um, How much older are we talking about? I was 22. She was 44. <laughs> oh, she, she was slamming hot? Yeah. Was that what it was? Yeah. God damn. Yeah. But dude, um, that's almost, that's over two decades. You're senior. Double my age at the time. Fuck. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay. Now, you know, <laughs> so, you know, we were, we were talking, hanging out, you know, movies, dinners, everything, you know, right. random doing all sorts of stuff everywhere. And uh, she invited me over for a family dinner. I was like, all right, you know, whatever. I'll, mm. Who's going to be there? She's like, oh, my three kids are going to be there. So, okay, that's cool. I get there first. I go to the restroom because I get, no, actually start looking around the house and start noticing pictures, right? I'm like, oh, you know, these are your, these are your boys. She's like, yeah, yeah, those are my sons. <laughs> and I see uh, uh, her daughter. And I'm Who's like, that? oh, Who's that? I was Who's like, that? oh, is that is that one of your son's girlfriends? No, that's my daughter. Okay, cool story. Ran into the bathroom, look at myself in the mirror. That's the the younger chick that I was just dealing with, you know, a few years back. Okay. So <clears throat> I I call my best friend at the time and I'm like, bro. Uh, you remember, and I'm going to just give them pseudo names because I can't remember their names at the time. Um, Alyssa. You remember? Yeah, you remember Alyssa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the young hot bitch. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know the new girl that I'm talking to now, um, Ashley, A A A Aisha, whatever. Aisha, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the other one, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. Yo, why are you bringing me up right now? You know I'm depressed. I'm like, right, listen, listen. It's not about <laughs> you right now, right? I'm calling you because I'm I'm feeling some shit. What? What? What are you doing to shit in my face? Off? <laughs> you know, I had a dry spell. <laughs> it was that conversation. Why he's like, I, he's, I'm telling he's him, like, let me, why, let me, why are you doing to my face? You know I'm lonely. You know I'm looking at my wrist with a razor. What is wrong with you? I said, yo, Jesus let me. I, said, I say, I know you're in a corner right now, but let me back. Let me paint you a picture. I am locked in a bathroom right now, freaking out. And he goes. Bro, you got the bug book guts, bro? Just let that shit go. You got to do what you got to do, man. We're all human. No, no, no. So again, remember Alyssa, Aisha, whatever. He goes, yeah. And I'm like, they're related. Oh, well, how related? Like cousins? No. Like auntie and, and like niece? No, it's mother and daughter. He's like, holy shit, bro. I think you just you just wrote a, uh, uh, broke another record. And I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, I don't know anybody who's had a mother daughter relationship, man, <laughs> ever. He's like, that's the kind of shit you see in pornos. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So I was like, but I didn't, I, I didn't, I was like, I didn't, like, it wasn't done on purpose, man. Right. Like, it just, it just happened, you know? I, and okay. I don't know what well, to clearly, do. Clearly, clearly, you have a type and they have a type. Carry on. Apparently, I don't have a type. It's just, I, I, well, grab, I mean, I, I get I whatever's mean, coming to me, bro. I'm, I mean, know. I'm an open door. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I was like, all right, man, this is what I'm going to need you to do. I'm in her bathroom. I'm locked in here and I'm supposed to have dinner with the family. And Alyssa is supposed to come here. And he goes, fuck, do they know? I was like, I don't know. But now that I'm thinking about it, watch this be one of those like intervention type situations. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I need to get out now. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bail. I got a bail. I, I got a bail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna need you to call me and please don't screw me or I know where you live. I will find you. I need you to call me in like <clears throat> three minutes with an emergency call. And he's like, bro, I got you. I got you. I said, All right, please do. He's like, All right, man, I got you. And sure as shit. Three minutes later, he calls me. Bro, I don't know what's going on. You hear all this noise? He's playing, I don't know what in the background. It's like, I, I think it was a movie and all you hear is gunshots. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, holy shit. Blah, 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 blah. It's going down. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> He's like, come get me. I don't know where I am. <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm on the phone. I look at her. I look at my phone. I was like, I don't know what's going on, but I got to go. She's like, what's going on? And I hold the phone to her here. <laughs> <Blah, blah, 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 blah. laughs> that's, that's a true homeboy. That's a true homeboy. That's a true homeboy. Can you imagine like being in the middle of somewhere and be like, bro, I don't hear you want to listen to this? Ah! <laughs> That's some serious shit. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Okay, uh, so how did the story end? I bail. I changed my phone number. I never returned. <laughs> Just I left it at that. I don't know anything. I hope they don't see this. I hope they don't remember me. I don't this so uh, this, so you didn't even you just ghosted her? I bailed, man. I couldn't do it. I could Bro, not all you do have to it. do is be like, look, check it out. I freaked out. Uh I used to date your daughter. I didn't know what to do. Um, I understand if you don't want to see me again. Like, what is too awkward? That is so funny. You you straight up ghost. <laughs> I wonder if she, if she wonders what the hell happened to you. Probably. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm sure this is like what. 15, minutes, 15 years ago, yeah. Everybody thinks you're dead. After that, ah! <laughs> I, just, I, I brought a knife to a gunfight. I, I died. I could have saved him. I should have told him not to go. Why did he leave? Oh, um, not now. You're making me feel guilty because now she's probably still got my she like. Probably name thinks you're, She probably has the last picture of you with 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 a, with a candle. <laughs> prayer every day. God, I lift his soul and absolve me of this guilt. Oh for letting him leave. For 15 years, <laughs> I shouldn't have done it. I should have told him to stay. When I heard, <laughs> I heard the gunshots in the back. Oh my god! I should have said, "Let me die." So again, ladies and gentlemen, don't think differently of me. This was not a planned situation. It happened, and no, I, I mean, no, no, I, no. There's only thing differently of you. I don't really know. You know what? Let's throw it out there. Men or women, whoever listening, you know, just just swap the genders. If you were in, in Maddie's situation, how would you have had to live? I think I think uh, bailing would have been is is perfectly natural. What else are you gonna at, do? Yeah, I don't at twenty two. That's all. That was the only thing in my mind. I gotta get out. I don't. Think <laughs> I would have had to wear with all the to, because I think I would have been so um, stunned by the situation. I'd have let it play out because I would have been I would have been catatonic. I'd have just sat there like. This is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. I don't think I'd have ever thought of to call somebody. I know me at the time. I would have been catatonic. I'd have sat there every time the doorbell rang or the door opened, my heart would sink, and I would have, I would have sat there and let it happen, and then go from there. Who was she, she gonna introduce you as? A friend? I I don't know, man. But it can you imagine? Listen, <clears throat> just think. All right, you sitting at the dinner table with your mom. Right. And right. she and the doorbell rings and in comes in one of your boys and your mom. She's all happy holding his hand like this. is, And you're like. Kurt, Joe, like, <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Hell no. Because <laughs> our mag- you were like, no, this, this this is weird. This is I something think, going on. I here. think I would have busted out laughing uh, <laughs> if I was in a situation. But if I was in your particular situation, I know I would have gone catatonic. It'd have been, babe, why are you acting so weird? No, I'm good. Just, just let this happen. What do you mean? Just go with the flow. You know, what do you mean? Just wait for it. Jay, wait for it. You know? Yeah, I wasn't prepared. I, I, don't, I, just... I don't think, I I know, I, I respect your response. Me, I, like, again, I know I would have been stuck. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. For example, like, like um, I was taking this girl out on a date and She's kind of weird, kind of nerdy, but whatever. Just we, we met. I don't remember where we met. I think we met online. This was online dating, so it still had a taboo to it. So still, one, I mean, it still does. <laughs> yeah, but now it's more acceptable. Oh, I met online. Okay, cool, whatever. But back then it was it was ew, you met online. Oh my god. Yeah. So I met her online and she was I think I think I was in my mid-20s, and I think she was. I didn't know it either 19 or 20, right? But she she was she was old enough to be considered an adult, but young enough where her mom decided to accompany her on the date. Okay. 
I'm okay. driving. To, I'm driving to go meet her at the movie theaters, and she goes, "Oh yeah, you're gonna meet my mom." I said, "I'm sorry. This is text message." I said, I'm, "Excuse me." Yeah, my mom insisted on on coming on the date. How old are you? And <laughs> that's one. And and what do you mean? I said, "I wish you told me this from before. I would have canceled the date. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do this." I'm a girl. Why am I having? I mean, I think I was like 23, 24. Why is your mom? I was, no, I'm serious. How old are you? I, I don't remember. I know she was young enough where it kind of made sense, but old enough where no, you're legally an adult. So I, I, I want to say she was no older than 20, right? So I was at least five years older than her, and in in the, in the late teens to early to mid 20s, that's a huge difference, mental yep. me, mental wise. Oh yeah. So I go there. I'm clearly older than, than her daughter. And I introduced her, I said, hi, nice to meet you. In your case, you probably would have about faced and just gone home and said, I'm not, I'm not showing up. Oh, yeah. But, but because I was so stunned, I kept on going and parked and walked and saw her and this much older lady. And I'm just like, and by the way, she goes into the same movie we go. She's sitting somewhere way up at the top somewhere. And this chick wants to hold my hand. She's like, I'm watching a movie. She's staring at me like she wants to make out or something. I couldn't do anything but this. Not even. <laughs> Please believe when the movie was done, I said it was great. Then I'll talk to, I never spoke to her again. Never spoke to her again. So that's the difference. That's why I know for me, if I was in your situation, I would have let it happen. I would have been catatonic and out of roll with the punches and then probably then probably never, never show my face ever again out of sheer embarrassment. So yeah. no. But, um anyway, so, so back to words. So final thoughts for the for the people. You said something before you said something. And I said something. Yeah, so so <laughs> you I, I'm s i am I said something that you said something about what you said earlier. Okay. Exactly. So I love I love where um, are. So, you know, just just uh be aware of how the situation ended if there are still emotions involved definitely back away um not just on your friend's side but on the 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 other in party of interest side um <clears throat> if there is any emotions what whatsoever just just bail out 100 percent be like hey listen um you know we got plenty of time if you're not ready right now you know next week next year next month right 10 years down the road you know, we got plenty of time. I mean, I might not have that time, but whatever. Um, things might change. Who never knows? Uh, you know, and, and that's the thing about life, man. You just if you <clears throat> lock yourself up to a situation now, you're closing several doors to things that can happen for you that could be better, could be worse, whatever experiences, anything. So when it comes to a friend's ex, if the emotions are there, just walk away. Just be like, all right, man, you know, you guys obviously still have some stuff to go figure out. Right. I'm out. I don't want to deal with this situation because that could really hinder uh, a friendship, especially if you really care about that individual's, mm -hmm. you know, feelings. You know, I mean, shit, my brother did it to me, you know, and that's 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 a whole different aspect. You right. Know? But well, you know, you didn't care. But I mean, still, nah. what if you did? Right. You, you know, what kind but, of what kind of what kind of can of worms would that have been? I only care because it was just very disrespectful. You know, that, no, that's of just, course, that's all it was. Me, right, this is this you, you wouldn't want somebody like that in your life. Like, if it wasn't a brother, you probably would have X this person out. Period. Like, I don't want to speak to you again because exactly. I don't. You don't need somebody like that in your life. So I totally get it. In my sense, like I said, um, gauge it. Is your friend the dumper or the dumpy? If they did the dumping, it's all fair game. That's it. Just, just make sure you're not, you're not, you're not being played as a rebound. Just to get back. Just yeah. To, there's a good chance for that. You're getting played as a rebound. Now, some rebounds turn into real relationships, but those, those I feel like are like casualties. They just happen to turn into a real relationship. So yeah, if if the, you know if, if the friend of yours was a dumper, fair game. I wouldn't even. I would mention it. Yeah, listen here, Chad. <laughs> holla at Melissa. Okay, you didn't want that, so I'm gonna holla at that. Well, just do my ex. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. You tossed her away. Uh, what's the problem? Did you, if you you want did you want that? Why didn't you keep it? I don't I don't understand. So and I and it and sounds dickish for me, but but I mean that's just reality. If you dump the person, you don't want them. I and think it also it also matters on what that other person's like um, current situation is like. Which if other person? I, like it, let's, like the friend. Like say um, you and I have uh, you know you're you're interested in someone that I know, but I've already moved on. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm married. I have, you know wife children. You know whatever and. 
Right. You got an ex. You, you're you're interested in one of my exes. <clears throat> I don't expect you. Well, as it, it, as for, far as respect is concerned, well, yeah, like, hey, bro, you know, so and so, whatever. Yeah. But I wouldn't be at the point where like, nah, nah, bro, hell no, nah, bro. Like, no, as no. Ex, nah, hey, you don't nah. ask. You know, you know, in that case, you're not asking for permission. You're just doing the the, the homie thing, the respect, yeah. and saying, hey, by the way, I'm talking to Shorty. That's all it is. I e yeah. I e if my ex right now, right? If her friend, her very pretty, pretty friend, call me, <laughs> um, what's the want to hook up with me? All she's gonna do is, hey, listen, check it out. I'm gonna go holler at Jason. You dumped him, right? So, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you don't ask for no permission, and and, yeah. and I and I wouldn't ask her. Oh, this feels weird because no, it doesn't. Why does it feel weird? She broke up with me. Yeah, exactly. I don't feel weird about it. Uh, I we probably yeah. and, and we probably don't don't ask me to hang out with that chick around. That's all I can tell you. Yeah, but other than that. Um, it's not weird at all. Now, if the friend is the dumpy, they got dumped. Don't do it. This is it. I don't care what it is, what it, or what happened, or you know, unless they like this. I'm really trifling, like cheat on them. But even then, I wouldn't even go that route. If your friend was the one who was dumped, stay away, because that's really, yeah. really fucked up. I mean, there's no other way to say it. It's really fucked up. So it it all it all depends. But in in any case. Yeah. Depends on the situation that they're currently in, like I said. Communication is key, you know, and have the respect to actually honor their feelings. So don't be like, hey, listen, because I'll tell you right now, if my friend Kurt told me, nah, dog, I'm not comfortable with that. You can't date Anna. You can't take her out. I wouldn't have done it. Right. That's it. I wouldn't have done it. That's why I asked for permission. I wouldn't have done it. So don't ask for permission and then say, well, I'll fuck you. I'm still going to do it anyway, because that's, that's, that's messed up. So have the respect to inform and or ask but also have the wherewithal to accept the answer and understand that if you go with it anyway and it, it wasn't the answer you wanted, you're the, you, you could be the bad guy or you could really lose a friendship. And guess what? Friendships last way longer than, relationships. than most relationships. Yep. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Are you talking about me? I had a friend, eight, year, eight, nine years, friendship ruined just because he broke up with his ex. And and it's like, I look at, I look back on it to, you know, I look back at why, because we, because even though we stopped being friends, we still worked in the same building. We saw each other every day, you know, we didn't necessarily work side by side. So when I, when I left my job of 16 years, I went up to him, you know, and we still spoke work related and it was fine. It was no animosity, but I went up to him and I shook his hand and said, listen, you know, we haven't been friends in, in a, a, a decade, but I just want to say peace out. You know, we still saw each other every day. We still work together. And at this end, we, you know, we'll probably never run into each other again. So take care. We shook hands and that was it. So what happened? Another memory just popped up in my head. Hit it up real quick before we before we, we jump out. <clears throat> All right. So this one's a short one. Uh huh. That's what she said. Uh, not to me. <laughs> no, to Joe, to Joe. Always. All the time. Um, shit. How old was I? 23, 24. Oh, that's so hot. <clears throat> um, uh, another so fine. Another older woman approached me, gave her your number, said, "Oh, uh, how was your weekend? It's birthday weekend. I'm gonna take you off for your birthday. You know, have a couple of drinks, whatever. Yada 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 yada." Long story short, I ended up getting <clears throat> uncomfortably raped. I say raped because uh, it was not consensual on my part. I had to get severely intoxicated for this to happen. But how did you um, not have whiskey dick? I don't understand. I, that's what I was aiming for. It apparently oh. just did not happen at 23 or whatever. Yeah. It just Damn. Yeah, I, I, I was know, aiming right. for it. Vintage <laughs> Manny, baby. Woo. Oh, man. I was aiming God. for it, and it did not happen. Um, flash forward a few years. or well, actually, flash forward a couple of weeks. You know, the girl was telling everybody how she had a great time with me. She, um, we were doing great. Like, we were in a relationship. Remember that question I asked you earlier? The yes. sex can, can send a relationship? Oh. This is one of those people. <clears throat> so I was like, wait, wait. Uh... We hung out once. This, this, we're not together. Like, what is this? You know, whatever. Like, slow down. You know, whatever. So two weeks later, I had to end up doing something that is out of my character to get her to stop speaking to me, which was harsh, but whatever, it did the job. She stopped speaking to me. So it went from, I have, I found a really good guy to this guy's a piece of shit. He's a liar, whatever, but man, whatever. I don't care. Flash forward a few years later, a buddy of mine <clears throat> to this day, um, got involved with her. Once I figured out who it was, I told his brother, you didn't tell your brother, bro. <laughs> You really didn't tell your brother? You didn't warn him about craziness over there? Damn. He's like, you don't listen to me, man. I keep telling him, oh, she's crazy. She's crazy because I know what you went through, but I'm not trying to put your name out there. So maybe you should say something to him. 
And I was like, <laughs> how do you say that? Though? He's yeah. not my brother. He's your brother. Yeah, like, you're we, right. You're right. Maybe maybe the three of us need to sit down and have this conversation. You could back me up. And I make, love you know, help me out. I love interventions. They never work in my group, but I love them. Right. So because I told him, I said, remember, I met him through you. So your point. Proxy, here, you're, you're right. You're you're on point. Needless to say, I don't think it ever happened until after she got pregnant. <clears throat> oh, and then it. So then he's like, oh, man, if I would have known. <laughs> Who the other uh, brother who was who was getting it in with her? Yeah, he's like, oh man, if I would have known, I'm like, ah, I mean, I mean, I kept trying to drop the hints, man. I was like, the bitch is crazy. That bitch is crazy. Damn. <laughs> I was like, you weren't catching what I was throwing, bro. But it, you know, it is. Damn, what it is. that sucks. Yeah. So yeah, that's that sucks. the short version of the story. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. Well, I mean, that's a wrap. So listen, you guys heard our stories. Um, this is actually. You know, a little another fun one. We needed a fun one. So what's your story? Or what do you think? Are we right? We're wrong? Would you date a friend's ex? Under what circumstance? Let us know. Last of the nice guys at yahoo.com. Don't um, hate me. Don't cancel me. Uh, yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> you know, we're all inclusive here. Comments. Let us know. because I would love to know. This is really funny. Like, would you date your friend's ex? If yeah. no, why not? If yes, under what circumstance? Dining. I want all the details because all I, the even, deets. E- even even to the point where it's like your friend shouldn't look at my girl sexually, yada, yada, yada. But the crazy thing about men, excuse me, is that we have sexual eyes. That's all we see. That's true. Everything we see is sexual. It's not emotional for us. It's only emotional until after the fact. Yeah, we have to we have to build up to that point. Correct. Women, Correct. women are built to be emotional from the start. Yeah. We got to get there. So we have those eyes. You know, I'll go up to one of my boys and be like, damn, bro, your girl's got to ask. Not that I'm trying to tap it, but right. damn, you're welcome. You know, I <laughs> love you. <laughs> and with that being said, I'm Jason. And I'm Manny. And thank you for your time. The last of the nice guys. Follow, like, and subscribe on Twitter and Instagram at last nice guys, Facebook.com slash last nice guys or email last of the nice guys at yahoo.com <laughs>